Facebook is moving slowly, I can hear. Good morning, everybody, how are you? Facebook, when you wanna join us, do catch up. It's up to you. Um, Jane, has Facebook caught up? Ah, oh, well done. Good morning, everybody. How are you? I'm Natasha. This is Natasha Makes. Only I'm not making today because I don't need to because we have such stunning, stunning fabrics that just speak for themselves. So, yes, you might be recognising the designers that we've got. It is, of course, the K-Facet Collective. Um, the K-Facet Collective, for those of you that might not know, being K-Facet himself, Brandon Mabley and Philip Jacobs. They are um, all living in the UK. They, well, K from Brandon live... Um, yeah, they're there. Good. Well done, Facebook. Well done. Thank you for joining us. So Kay from Brandon live in their studio in London, North London. And then uh, we have Philip Jacob who spends his time half in Dorset, half in London. So they are, they live in the UK. Brandon is Welsh. Kaif is American, um, born and brought up in Big Sur in California. And um, Philip Jacobs is British born and Red. So they are a very dynamic trio and their fabrics are unmistakable. The colour that we have in the studio today, quite exquisite um, and just, well, it's a riot of colour, an absolute riot of colour. I'm very excited to show them all to you today. How does today's show break down? Every single fabric that I have for you today, I have available by the half meter. You can buy in increments of half meters. We will cut it in a continuous length for you. Now, if you are <coughs> a, I'm just gonna say a K-Facet Collective curator and need everything, I have got a couple of complete bundles for the whole shebang. If you want a half meter of every single fabric on this show, then instead of having to go through and tick every box, I've ticked the box and it is a set item for you with a discount on it. It's coming in at just a smidge under £300 for every single fabric on the show for you. So if you would like to go for that, and I know some of you always do, I've put that up as a skew for you. When I say I, Gemma has put that up as a skew for you, ready to go today. Otherwise, for those of you that might look at all the fabrics and the color and go, whoa, where do I start? I've broken it down into bundles that give you um, a range of colors that flow, work together, but just integrate and that you will be able to do your bag making, your quilting and everything else. So if you want a bundle that in its own right works beautifully together, in my humble opinion, because I put them together, then we've got those for you on the show as well today. If you want a bit of inspiration as to what to do with them, then let's have a look. We've got the bucket hat. We have got the um, Hexi EPP bag there. We have got the Quilters Lazy Tote Bag over there. Um, and again, all of these super, super easy to make. Um, we have got the M frame bag there. Again, we had that on last week. We did that in a slightly different way and already I've put it somewhere else. Uh, that's another version of that M frame, but again, that's in a different style, different fabric. Um, and what else have I got for you today? Maybe you want a bottle bag carrier? Then why not? I've just twisted that handle around so that you can see that it's all beautifully lined in cave as well. Maybe you want the curvy and fabulous bag, in which case we've got the handles, we've got the bags, we've got it all there. Maybe you want to do the trio, the three-tone tote out of a trio of fabrics, in which case, Fill your boots, go for it. Now I've also got a little treat for you today because any orders over hundred pounds, I'm gonna give you a free um, book by Kate Facet himself for free, for free. It could be any one of these. We have got quilts in an English finish, quilts by the sea, and Kay Facet in the studio. It will be, it's up until stocks last, okay? I've got a few of these left, so I thought I would share. So if you want that inspiration, each of these has got between 18 and 20 different quilts. If you've not seen these before, these are available for you to buy anyway. And if you're buying one, then we'll make sure that it's signed. 
So this is Kaif, this is Brandon. Um, and this Quilts by the Sea is based in Hastings where they have a summer home. Um, and again, Brandon and, and Kaif often go swimming in the sea. They love a bit of cold water therapy. They've been doing it for years before it was ever even popular. I think Kaif started open water swimming in the 80s um, with, I think it was the director of uh, Blooming Glorious or whatever the TV show was that he did. Um, so the first half, if you've never seen these books before, is always is your coffee table type book. So it's your inspiration. It's your incredible photography by Debbie Patterson. So you might go, right, OK, this is what I need in my life. And then the second half is all of those, all of those quotes that you've seen. It gives you exactly how to make them step by step, cutting all of those instructions. They are all in there, good and ready to go. And here you've got your trio of cushions instead. If maybe a quilt is too much, then maybe start with just a cushion. But if you want to do all of those jugs, uh, jugs and vases, Cave started out as a um, as a fine artist, amongst other things. And when you go to his house, he still has all of his jugs and things for still lives, all colour coordinated on shelves in his studio. It's really beautiful to see. Um, but not only that, he has these amazing shelves and cupboards that house all of his quilts, but he has painted beautiful murals of jugs and vases and all sorts of things on. In fact, if you look at my Natasha McCarty um, profile picture on Facebook, then you'll see me stood in front of some of his cupboards wearing a coat that he gave me. So there we go. That is your Quilts by the Sea, or you might get quilts in an English village. Now these were, um, the inception of these was sort of during lockdown, so he couldn't go far, so they had to be in the UK. There are your templates and everything so you can do all the making in the back again, all of those instructions there. But the bit we all want to look at, of course, are the photographs. So this is um, in a beautiful Suffolk village and you can just see all those colours. Now you see we've got colourways today, pastel colourways that would work and recreate that just so beautifully. And the green, oh, just stunning. So have a good look at the fabrics that we've got on offer today. Maybe you want to just have this as a coffee table book and muse and enjoy the photography. Maybe you want to make something from it. It's entirely up to you. And then here we've got Kaif in his studio. This is beautiful. So this, Kaif loves a bit of mosaic as well, um, which is just absolutely stunning. Um, a look. So this is actually, this is in his back garden. This is his bathroom. And again, he's done mosaics through there and the tiles he's chosen and even the wash bowl that he's got, he had made. And he's really, really specific um, about how he, who made it, how it was made, the colors that were used. Um, and then a still life of what is then there in, in his bathroom. This is again, this is all his bathroom as well. It's just beautiful and everything is laid out like a, like a still life. Um, and then these are portraits by his sister Holly, who's also an incredible artist as well. So everywhere you look, this is his kitchen. It's all done in bright, beautiful yellows. These are the cupboards that I was talking about with the vases painted on. It's, it's really, really beautiful. So it is just a, um, a, a tour of his home, which if you've ever had the luck to visit, and I have on several occasions, is just exquisite. This is wallpaper that he designed um, for Glorious, um, for the Designers Guild, I think it was, or something like that. But he's got it in different colorways, and so he's layered off different colorways into it. It's just incredible. And then these are his embroideries. A lot of you will know a lot about his embroideries. But these, look, these are the things that we are giving anyone that's spending over hundred pounds, um, or if you wish to buy them, then please do. This is his design wall, which makes me giggle because he's sold more of this gray squared flannel fabric than he has any other fabric, um, which just makes me laugh at all. These are the, these are the shelves with all of his um, different colored vases and things for his still lives. 
But that just gives you a little, um, a little idea of, of the main man here. Let's have a look at these bundles, shall we? Let's start off with here. Okay, so when I've done these bundles, I have tried to do it in a way that it sounds really pretentious, but I'm going to say it anyway, kind of tells a story. Kind of like a colour story. Um, so this fabric here, you've got all of the fabric colours within this. This is like your ultimate blender, a bit like this one, um, but it's going to brighten, lighten and lift. Um, but you do have all these teals. You've got the reds that pick out in here, the oranges that are in here. Um, this fabric here this is this is the blue version. We've got it in all sorts of different colorways. This is new. This is your paisley flower. which is just absolutely stunning. Could you imagine a sashing like that? But these teals in here are echoed in here. So you've got this one and I wanted it to then merge seamlessly if you wanted to use or if you just have a favorite colorway that works, you can see how you've got. So the way that the, um, that the K-Facet Collective work is that Philip Jacobs will bring his incredible designs to Cave once a year. Cave will pick the ones that he likes um, and that he knows will work with his own designs and he will then put the colours and the colour work in. So you can see a Cave one here and you can just see how all of these colours are in here. So they work so beautifully together. So you will get a half metre of each of these and then you can suddenly see these ones peeping through. You've got these that are just echoing over here. <coughs> You've got the pinks and the purples that are all through here. This one, I haven't even had a look at all the names of these, is your garden party. It really is, isn't it? Isn't that stunning? So, to give you an idea, you in each of these bundles, you've got some of these big, 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 um, incredible incredible prints. You've got blenders, um, you've got ones that are going to be perfect for linings um, and then you've got ones that are just going to mix and hold the whole lot together through. So uh, let me tell you the names of these as well. This is Square Dance and again if you had things like the paint pots it's that kind of thing. It's a blender that is jolly and lively and fun all through. This is a Brandon Mably one um, and this is called Coral. You can really see. In fact, you know, a lot of Brandons, um, do you know, Koi Poloi, things like that, have that sort of um, watery feel. And then this one is Petals. So again, all of these, all of these are available individually or if you wish, as a bundle. And if you buy multiples of the bundle, we will cut them in that continuous length. So I'm gonna pop these back together, move them one to one side, over there, and then bring out the next one so that we can have a little look here. I spent three hours last night working out how best to do these bundles. Uh, don't get me wrong, like I had the most incredible time, um, but my goodness me, did it take a bit of doing, because I was just like, oh, I just wanted to get the right mix. So they're not all the same size, these bundles, because I didn't have the ability to put the same number in all of them. But whilst you just take in that, that vision of loveliness, I'm going to say good morning to Julia and Martin and Joy and Pat and Auntie Lizzie Crangle. Um, oh, Jane's got a list. Oh, the bundles, thank you. Um, I thought that was like your shopping list, Jane. She's like, I've got a little list. Jane's here, she's drooling like a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Oh, I love cavies. Um, they are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Maybe there should be a Dave the Duck and Mabel fabric one. My, my, uh, Martin, maybe there should be. Maybe there should be. Um, morning, Claire. So these are the fabrics that we have got today. Let's have a little look at them. 
um, um, we have got here. This is your comb stripe, which isn't a new design, but it is new colorways for the comb stripe, which is just exquisite. This is your coral. So I've gone for kind of your blues and your peaceful, restful tones in this one. Again, I think we need to see this one in all its glory. This is your garden party. If I pull that down to there, then you still get to see a bit of that creeping through. This is your petals in sky. Gorgeous. And the hardest part of all of this is that everything went. Like everything, I could have done these bundles a million different ways over. And then this one, oh, this is a new one. This is Deco. And I just love how you've got this pastely tone in the background here, this delicate purple that you've got picking up in here and in the petals here. But then you've got this incredible dynamic print there. It's just exquisite, isn't it? I just love them. So fill your boots on these. I've got a bolt of each and when they're gone, they're gone. That's it. Um, and yeah, we just, we are enjoying these so much. Like I say, these are bundles, but they are all available individually if you like. The next one to show you, <gasps> where to go, where to go, which one, which one, which one? Let's have a look over here. Okay. Let's, <coughs> I mean, let's just pull that one out. So that we can have a little play here. I'm gonna move these across. And you can just start having a little look there and just see how utterly glorious they all are. It's decisions, decisions, isn't it? It's a tricky one. Um, so with this one, I wanted to give you something bright and punchy here that was going to work with these yellows. Just gorgeous. This one is Checkmate. I'd love to see some summer shirts in this, if that's all right. I did, last time we had um, plaids like this from the K-Facet Collective and Brandon, I made um, big picnic blankets. And it was just beautiful, just beautiful. Now, this one, absolutely gorgeous as well, is called Step Flower. Now I wanted to bring in a connection with the greens and the oranges and your blues because yellows and blues, of course, just work so beautifully together. So this one is kind of pulling all of these together. This one is giving you the link up to the yellows, but you've got all the pinks that are pulling through here and in the petals here. And then also just look how exquisitely this coral then ties in and works with it all. And of course, look, 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 look. Philip has done for us. <laughs> Curly baskets, that's what he's called this. But check those out. I just think they're stunning. And you're gonna hear that a lot from me. You are gonna hear that a lot from me because I am pretty in love with these. It's as easy as that. They are really rather fabulous. So get in touch, let me know which ones are your favorites. It's so tricky to choose, isn't it? Which ones are you gonna go for? But like I say, 
any orders going over 100 pounds, pop in your code. It's at the top of the page, www.natashamakes.com. Pop in at the top of the page, you'll see the banner for your free K Facet book. It'll be one of those three that will pop in for you. Um, and so that you can get that inspiration. You've bought the fabric, let's get you inspired, let's get you making, um, or just have a cup of coffee and a piece of cake or a biscuit and enjoy the incredible photography. So much work and effort goes into their books, it's incredible. Um, so again, all of these available by the half metre. We will cut them as a continuous length for anyone that is buying multiples. Ooh, what colours to go for next? Ah, <gasps> it's so tricky. It really is. So tricky to know. Right. Right, right. Let's have a little look here. Jane, have you got favourites? She's gone wandering off. Sorry? Have you got favourites? It's really hard to choose, isn't it? Blues and tears. What about this though, Free? I mean, it's summer in a fabric, isn't it? Absolutely summer in a fabric. Um, I'm going to bring down the next ones. I'm going to bring down, whoops, it's a good job you can't see me just destroying my set. Ah. These ones. Don't they look so different? in the different colours. I've tried to put in like something like this. So you've got a big print in each of these bundles. Some you've got several different styles of big print. Um, those large wowie ones that we all love. Let me spread these out so that you can get an idea here. I am loving this coral. For me, this is one of the absolute winners. Um, loving this one as well. How gorgeous. And then look at this. And your comb stripe, my goodness, imagine binding in that, imagine lining in that. Uh, it's just gorgeous. Um, I can just see a bag out of this. This is your main, your main bit of your bag. Maybe then you're gonna have um, a few stripes of your comb stripe going either way. Maybe you're gonna have it going the other way. And then maybe this, Something like this. This is your uh, three-tone tote. Super, super, super easy. If you want to know how to make your own fabric bag handles, of course, there's a tutorial on that. Um, just brilliant. Just brilliant. And absolutely exquisite. <coughs> so um, I'm going to put these ones away while you enjoy those ones. Oh, decisions, decisions. But do let me know which are your favorites so far. Maybe. Now these are just done with hexagons. But you could just, it's just an easy way to really look at this one. You could imagine, can't you? And it's always gonna be right. It's always going to be right and it's always going to be gorgeous. So, 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 so. <sighs> Let's have a look at these colours that are in here. Oof. And you can see, can't you, how that's pulling. That I mean, that's just delicious. Both of these, absolutely delicious for linings, for contrasts, for bindings. Absolutely stunning. Um, but then how much fun are all these colours in here to work with this? And to just pull everything across the board and pull it all in together. In its own right, these are some of my most favourite colours. I love how we've got these incredible lime greens that then flow into the curly baskets over here. But I think this could be quite interesting together. The straight lines and the curves, it just, yeah, there's some really interesting shapes in this and I am very much in love with this. I don't normally go for greens, but I am really, really, really falling in love with these. 
I think because we've got, we have got some of these teals in there. This is just exquisite. The colors in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But then look at it with that. I, I could, honestly, I couldn't call it. I couldn't call it. I loved every single one of these bundles as I was putting them together. Every single one of them. I was just like, I don't, I, I don't know what to tell you about which one is my favorite because oh, it's just too hard to decide. It's not even like having a favorite child where your favorite one is the one that's behaving best. It's not, it's not even that. But then if you want something, and this is what I mean about different colors. So this is your contrast and how impactful that is in a completely different colorway. But of course that would equally work with the blues that we've just seen. Absolutely stunning. And equally, this one down here could have gone into this bundle and worked with that one. Play, have a play. Because there's no right way with all of these. It, you know, it really isn't. They are made to be interchangeable. They're designed to be interchangeable. And that's what we love about them is their usability. It is just gorgeous. So this one, normally I would find a fabric like that. I'd be like, oh, what do I do with it? This, this is where I went with this because instantly the next one I pulled out was this. And you've got that green and you've got that orange and I'm like, yes, yes, yes. So this one had to come into this combination because also, just look at all of the greens and the oranges that you have in here. So again, imagine a bag with all of this on the front and maybe a handles or a little strip of that or lined in that just to give it a quirky difference and this one incredible and what I really really love is that you've then also got the coral and I don't know if you can see but with this coral there's an edge of purple let me see if I can get that up a bit closer for you can you see the purple it's very discreet, but it's in there. And when you put it next to that black, purple and white in the paisley flower, it's a bit of a winner. And then I wanted to pull all those colors, those black, white, those real strong colors together with this beautiful petal collection here. Imagine a, imagine a shirt out of that just be exquisite. Imagine a shirt out of this with, you know, you pull your cuffs back and you've got a bit of that. But then equally, what I loved about this was that, can you see how this has, yes, you've got that strong black, but you've also got these soft pastels. In here, there are lots of soft pastel colors as well. So for me, this one had to be paired somewhere with this. And then it goes so beautifully with the petals. But you've also got these oranges and those pinks in these beautiful flowers here. And you've also got the greens and the oranges here. So this bundle, this was the first one that I settled on that I was totally happy with. I was like, yes, yes, yes. That is working for me. But you see, you could take any of these fabrics and create something really, really strong like that. I would love to see my Curvy and Fabulous bag out of these. Could you imagine? It would just be incredible. Just be incredible. Um, so, that was kind of the inspiration there. <coughs> My goodness. <sighs> it's, um, yeah. <laughs> Josh helped me unpack them all last night and he because they came quite late and he just looked at them and went where do you start where do you start 
And it is, it can be one of those things because there's so much here. If you are, um, like if you're used to the K-Facet Collective and you're used to the colour and you're used to the vibrancy, then, it, you know, you just relish in it. And it's absolutely just delicious. But if you're new and if you're someone that's been cautious with colour, then, yeah, a great starting point is one of the bundles. And you could then buy yourself a black and you know that that's gonna go beautifully with this. Or you could buy yourself Peacock or Sapphire and know that that is gonna go, or Magenta or Purple and know that that's gonna sit really beautifully with that. Um, over here, you could buy Sky, you could buy Lam Lavender, you could buy Amethyst, and those planes would really go beautifully with that. Or just stick to some white, bring in some white there. Corn Yellow is gonna go stunningly with all of these. Again, Sky, um, Buttercup as well is gonna work a treat in there. Pink, yeah, you've got in here, um, you've got some Aqua and Spearmint that would also work really beautifully, but equally you could go with Raspberry and Pomegranate to bring out the pinks, the deeper pinks in there. Raspberry and Pomegranate, again, are gonna sit beautifully here. And again, pink in that one. Um, our lime is going to work incredibly with that, as will our emerald. So just if you're after some planes that are going to work beautifully, we will look. Gosh, we haven't done half me to heavens, have we yet? No. We'll have to put a few of those and we'll have to do that. Is asking which of the fabrics would go with the fuchsia velvet from Monday's show. The fuchsia velvet. Bear with me, caller. Does she mean the cerise? <laughs> I mean, uh, let's have a little look. Instantly, I would be drawn to this. Um, and let me show you why. Because look, so yeah, if you wanted something incredibly decadent and beautiful. That was the velvet, um, that was the cerise velvet. But equally, hang on, let me move these out the way and we can have a little play. This is your time to play guys. So if there is something that you want me to look at, you want to take a closer look at or anything like that, Jane is keeping an eye. Gemma is still off poorly, um, working from home because um, she's a bit dizzy, can't drive at the moment. So that would not be an ideal situation. Um, hence why it's very quiet. Very quiet around here right now. Right. Knew there was a good reason I hadn't tidied everything away. Yeah, there you go. That is your velvet from Monday. That would be my first call. And if you went for that bundle, then you would also have those that would sit really beautifully. If you went for the greens, now that ain't too shabby either. In fact, that's rather delicious as well. So yeah, there's a lot of fun that can be had with this. If you are looking for something possibly um, a bit cheeky and a bit fun, then why not look at bordering it, edging it, something in that. So. Yeah, you've got quite a few options going on with that, for sure. Um, I would look to the anything in the green bundle um, with those pinks, those deeper pinks, is going to be your way to go with this one. I'm not sure that I've put these all back in the right order. I don't know. Did I, did I, did I? No, I possibly didn't. But yeah, that's and that's a good question. <laughs> that is a very good question. Okay. 
let's have a look at the bundle with this then, shall we? Um, because this is it. This out the way. Okay. Now, this would just, it just blew my mind. I was like, wow, where do I start with this? You've got some of my favorite colors in there. Um, so I wanted to give it something geometric. I wanted to bring those in. But you have also got. Then, you see, I found this, because this has got pinks in it, it's got all sorts. But I thought, what if... This bundle is not for the faint-hearted, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So here, you've got these reds and these pinks all in here, but also picking out that incredible hit of aqua, which just cuts through all of it, doesn't it? And then you bring that in there, and then... And I'm just, I'm unapologetic about the riot of colours that you have in this bundle. It is just, it's psychedelic, isn't it? But equally, you've got this incredible hit of purple and this colour is in there. And you've got the purples in there. So these two just had to go together, but then you've equally got that in there as well. So then those three had to go together. And then this one had all of the colors in. And I was like, ah, where do I go? This has got the oranges. It just, they had to all go together in a, a, a glorious romp. <laughs> That's all I could call it, is the most incredible, glorious romp of color I have seen in quite a while. Uh, yeah, I mean, wow. So, yeah, what can I say? What can I say? Um, oh, Lowe says Brassica will always be my fave. I know, I know, I know. The, well, we don't have a Brassica in this, but you're right, it is absolutely stunning. Um, Claire's liking the new stuff. Um, oh, she's got some in the kitchen. Excellent. Uh, black and purple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we could have a lot of fun in your warehouse. We do have a lot of fun. Now, you see, Auntie Lizzie prefers the big prints with the bright colours. Um, do you know what? The thing is, there's everything for everyone in these collections. So if you just wanted to go with this and bind in black, or if you wanted to go with one of the earlier purple bundles, and if you wanted to bring in the coral with that one, then you could. You know, like I say, there was no one way to put these bundles together. You don't have to buy the bundles, or you might want to buy this bundle, and they go, actually, I want half a meter of the coral as well. It's up to you. It really is up to you. I've just, because I've had hands on, I've just pulled the ones together that I just kind of went, yep, 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 that and that and that and that and that and that. Um, and that was just the fun that I had with it because I was having fun with it. Uh, so everybody's, obviously everybody's choices and the way that people see fabrics are also different. And that's the really beautiful thing about it, is that there is no right way. If it brings you joy, then it's right. You know, that's what people say, oh, I'm really scared of colour, I'm scared I'm going to get it wrong. There isn't a wrong. If it brings you joy, then it's right. Now, maybe you are more of a pastel fan, in which case, let's bring this out to play. And this is the last of the bundles. And this is then everything. This is going to be a brilliant one to fussy cut. I still can't remember what it's called. Deco. I don't know why I can't remember that. 
by the time that I've cut up all of these, I will know them inside out and back to front. Um, but yeah, Kaif would always bring us a pastely bundle. And so you can just see why I've pulled these together because you've got the greys, you've got the softness, you've got the purples, um, but you've still got these kind of tones coming through into here. But then this, <coughs> almost like lattice background. Just sat so beautifully there. But then, but then, but then, in your pastel, along comes this one in your square dance. I was like, well, that has to go with these, doesn't it? And I love that you have this riot of shapes and designs and scales and size. Look at this one coming into play. So it just, and then your stripes over here. So for me, this was all the colors, all the designs, all your stuff for your linings, your handles, your, your bindings, your patchworking, your fussy cutting. It's like this one does it all. It just does it all. And when you start to pop this one in, you'll see that actually this swirl here are those two colors. So you start to go, okay, when this, when these stripes, when the comb stripe is around these circles, it pulls different colors from it. It's quite incredible because that now is what I see in this. And yet I would have missed that to start off with. But here you've got these peachy tones that we're seeing over here and through here, and it's just like, oh! It's all rather glorious. Yeah, Jan, basically you can't go wrong, just mix and match. Whatever gives you joy is right, and that's it. Oh, hi, Sue! She's over in Melbourne on holiday, loving the fabrics. Well, look, they could be on your doorstep ready for when you come home. Morning, Helen. So, yeah, guys, these are, these are the fabrics today. Let me know. If there are any that you want to see in greater detail. They're just exquisite, all of them. Absolutely all of them. And I just... It's one of those things that I like, oh, spend so long showing you all of these. I don't have time to make anything, but I can really recommend. And when you get your instructions, it'll have the date that we demoed them. So you can make your choices and what you want to make. Um, ooh, oof. But yeah, any orders going over hundred pounds. And of course, if you are a Natasha McCarty Designs um, member, then you're getting, if you're the premium member, you're getting 10% off your order as well. That's on the top of any discounts that are there. These fabrics have all gone up in price. They should be nearly nine pounds a half meter. We've held it at 7.99. We have. Um, we shouldn't, nobody else is. Everybody else is up their prices, um, but we've held it there for you um, as an introductory price for you. Members, you get double bubble if you're a premium member and you're paying a 16.99 a month because you are going to get 10% off on top of those discounts already. I can't say fairer than that, you know, but that's how it works, isn't it? So, yeah, have a good look. Let me just see very quickly um, if there are any questions that I need to answer. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a little bit behind. Let me just see. Let me see. Um, suggestions for using all five half meters. Um, so my adult bean bags. So the adult patchwork recliners. Jane, could you possibly bring in the adult patchwork recliner that's in the warehouse, please? 
would use, would be beautifully used and beautifully served with these. And you'll see, you'll see why in a minute. Um, if you're using three at a time, then something like the three-tone tote, and you'd be able to make multiples of those. Uh, and again, you know that these bundles are going to work. If you want... No, we don't get to recline on it. It's oh, no, Ma Mabel reclines <laughs> on this. But to give you an idea, and this, this, is, this has been such a popular, popular um, mate. And so you... And, for those of you that go, oh, if I'll be fine getting down, I'll never get up. A lot of you are using these in bed because then it can sit you up, prop you up. So it doesn't have to be an on the floor situation. But these have been so popular in our house. So, so popular. Um, and you can fill them as much as you like. I wouldn't overfill because then you can sit in and it pushes. This is the least filled, isn't it? Of all of them. Um, now, this was a quilt that I... Gosh, I never actually got to backing it properly. Um, but you could just cut strips. You could just cut strips and sew them again together. This is just two and a half strips, two and a half inch strips. And all I did was sew them end on end and then just keep cutting them in half and sewing them end on end. But that gives you an idea So it doesn't have to be, you know, you could get a couple of bundles um, if you want, you know, if you want to quilt, then that's fine. But you see, look, this was edged in the Aboriginal dot, but equally something like that to edge it in would be glorious. Uh, what else have we got? Obviously, we've got that bag. This is a really beautiful one. This is the Lazy Quilters Tote. Uh, let me find a way to show you this bear with me caller there we go um and again five these are five inch squares i think uh or four and a half or something like that again it will tell you in the instructions this is used with quilters grid now you can either use h640 in fact if i yeah i did this as an insulated bag so i used insole bright on this so that i could put my lunch in it why not? Um, and again, you can buy handles to put on these um, or you can make your own fabric handles. We've got instructions on how to make your own fabric bag handles. Let me show you those so that no matter where you're at, you can make your own fabric bag handles. And I've demoed those before. Um, absolutely. But again, you'd use a half meter for the outside. You'd use a bit for that and your lining um, and then a half meter there, but you wouldn't use your full half meter. You'd do some for the, so you could, you could mix and match. You'd make a, a couple of bags out of these and it, you know, or put them together as a quick, and you know, just put them together, buy a colorway, cut them into squares and just sew them together. Just sew them together. Maybe get yourself some of our, um, oh my goodness, our super, super, super wide wadding, which is on an incredible deal at the moment. And then you know that you've got enough to wad your quilts um, or use them to interface your bags and quilt the outside of your bags. It's up to you how you want to do these. You know, it really is. Like I said, there's no right or wrong way here at all. Not at all. Um, just have fun with it. That's what I would say. Please do just have fun with them. You know, whether you want to make a, a mega thing like the bean bag, whether you want to make a bag, whether you want to make a quilt, um, whether you want to make... <laughs> Josh was, he's like, oh, the reversible bucket hat. This has got baby, toddler, child, adult sizes. It's got all the different sizes. Um, shows you how to make your measurements for the head to fit your head po uh, perfectly. And then you've got a reversible, fully reversible bucket hat or just a hat with a fancy trim if you don't want to reverse it at any point. 
Um, but all of these combinations, you'd find one that would work together. I'd probably go like that one and that one or something. You know, just have fun with it. Or if you've got one of the striking ones and you just want to, um, you just want to make a real statement piece. I mean, imagine something like this in a bag like this. These are our M frames. Um, if you buy them, then what comes for free is Lisa's pattern to do this this bag. If you want to do the style that I did last week that we had the tutorial on, um, then you can buy that pattern and template separately. Um, but this is the pattern that comes with it for free. Uh, so, you know, again, would be just incredible, just incredible as a statement, a statement bag. So yeah, they're there for you. Have a good rummage, have a good play um, and enjoy. That's what it's about. Yeah, these bring me so much, so much joy. When I walk in here, I'm like, wow, it's incredible. It just brings me immense joy and satisfaction. So pick the one that brings you most joy. Pick the ones that bring you most joy. That's all I can say. And then you, you're going to be right. You're just going to be right, whatever you do. Um, or maybe you want to do Jane's quilt that she showed us yesterday in one of these and then pick a plane. Just pick a plain colour. You can always email us, info at Natasha Makes, if you want us to pick a plane that will go with any of these. We will happily do that for you. Um, that's it, really. Just enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Right, I am going to go and start cutting some of these up for you. So take care. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will, if you watch on Facebook, I will do a little video when I put the half metre heavens together. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do a few of these as half metre heavens for you as well. For those of you that just want to do something like Jane's um, quilt yesterday with a plane. So they will go live tonight. But if you know which ones you definitely want, just grab them because when they're gone, they are gone. Take care, everybody. Thank you ever so much for watching. Lots of love. Bye-bye.